For free thinking researchers only, refrigerant engine or aerothermal engine ATE and experimental gasoline engine modification. Turn an open intake, open exhaust, heat based gasoline engine into a closed loop cold refrigerant based engine. The ultimate energy source for this engine is heat. In practical use, heat is provided by the sun and is extracted in an economical fashion. Excess heat energy is present in indistinguishable quantities on planet Earth. Construction. Gasoline engine two or four cycle. No, two cylinders must have a 180 degree crankshaft. No, three or five cylinder engines, no diesel. Connect exhaust to intake at closest points possible without leaks making engine closed loop operation. Add a T-fitting or outlet connection to the exhaust loop, preferably near the exhaust manifold. Add a one-way check valve at the exit of the T-fitting. Connect. Connection. Check valve example. Parker pneumatic valve opens at 5 to 7 psi. Beyond the check valve, add a ball valve to regulate flow. Beyond check valve, ball valve assembly, continue pipe to inlet side of air conditioning pump that is in operating condition and already attached to the engine. Outlet of the air conditioning pump goes through one or more condenser coils and then a small accumulator above the fuel injector, which is mentioned later. Condenser must be cooled by a fan and or airflow. Remove spark plug. Make an adapter to install an uh, LPG type fuel injector into spark plug opening. Replace spark plug with injector only gasoline type. Injector will not work. Fuel injector example motorcraft part for Ford truck with LPG. The fuel injector is fired top dead center after compression stroke and remains open for approximately 90 degrees. This may vary. A small ball valve above the injector may regulate engine speed. Charge system is typical for AC systems using refrigerant or propane. 3 to 7 psi. Do not exceed 11 psi. Engine will run cold. Use a, a lightweight motor oil. Remove the thermostat or the center of the thermostat depending on your application. Rotate, regulating engine speed and timing percentage challenge. Multiple camshaft triggers could be used. Uh, pulse width circuit modulating circuit with a variable resistor, maybe an electric motor with set of points, or manual ball valves to regulate the flow. Could it be simpler than that? The effect. The intake plenum is pressurized to a minimum of 3 psi. The intake stroke happens. Cylinder is completely filled with refrigerant. The intake valve closes. The piston moves from bottom upward and compresses the refrigerant. At the point where the piston reaches the top of the cylinder and the refrigerant has reached maximum compression pressure, the injector that is in the spark plug opening opens and sprays a small bit of refrigerant into the cylinder. This refrigerant begins to expand in the hot pressurized res refrigerant in the cylinder, pushing the piston down, generating horsepower and torque. At the point that the piston reaches the bottom of, the, of its power stroke and begins to return upward, the exhaust valve opens and the piston pushes the now expanded refrigerant out of the cylinder past the exhaust valve into the common loop manifold. Heat energy from friction, compression, and atmospheric heat work together as the readily available fuel. Gasoline is also a heat fuel. When gasoline burns, the heat produced causes atmospheric gases like nitrogen to rapidly expand, pushing the piston down. Rather than use gasoline, which produces huge quantities of heat that is never used for power but is wasted, we may use readily available heat without any waste or toxic byproduct. This discovery was made by a brilliant young scientist and inventor, Chris Hunter of Fairbanks, Alaska. Mr. Hunter worked for nine years, spending large sums of his own money to complete the system. Mr. Hunter has openly shared all of his discoveries with mankind. Mr. Hunter's knowledge and experience are unsurpassed. In my opinion, he is an expert mechanic. He has worked with many uh, different four, uh, medias. Thank you, Mr. Chris Hunter. Addendum, I would recommend monitoring loop pressure and injector pressure with gauges. A temp gauge might also be helpful. 
I would also add a small propane tank with a hose attached to the loop and an inline regulator that will automatically add propane when the loop pressure drops below 3 psi. Or refrigerant, of course. This design is similar to the Lee Rogers air car design and patent. Lee ran a car entirely on air only in the 1970s, I believe. His exhaust was about 50 degrees lower than the incoming air. He had modified the distributor on his Dodge V8 with brushes on the rotor, which I assume increased the on time of the air injector, which replaced the spark plug. He also used uh, air pumps. His system was not closed, so he used more of the ambient air temperature as a fuel source. He also used a portion of the exhaust as the feed source for the pump. He attempted to manufacture and distribute a kit which could be retrofitted to existing vehicles. After finding someone in Brazil who claimed to be able to help him, he and his family traveled there. They never returned. In fact, they disappeared. The information attached to this document is powerful and dangerous. The people who benefit from controlling fuel are insane murderers who can only be stopped by the people, the billions of us, using the methods employed by the super wealthy. The super wealthy own over 90% of the world and its wealth. That is 200 or so families having less than leaving less than 10% of the planet to us 7 billion. When that wealth is redistributed, every on the, everyone on the planet can be 20 times richer than they are now. We can change the planet in one literal 24-hour day. All we have to do is say, no more leaders, no more super wealthy, no more criminal corporations, no more religions controlling humans with unseen fabricated gods. We will one day awake soon and our spirit self to act on this. The instructions are written by Chris Hunter primarily, and this document was prepared and written by Mr. Galleria of YouTube video channel.